Strange world inside mirrors, a world where everything is reversed. But it's an even stranger world if you hold a mirror up to a mirror and look over the top of one of them. Because the image goes back and forth endlessly and you look not just into a mirror, but down a great tunnel going off into the distance, a tunnel of reflections. And uh, the way to set it up is to put one mirror on the wall or vertical on the table like that, another one, fairly big if you can get it, facing it, and peek over the top of the second one. You'll have to juggle them round a little bit, but if you peer over there, you should be able to look down a great tunnel of reflection. Now these aren't the best mirrors in the world, and in fact the studio is a bit dark, but we got our producer to do this in the other studio where there's more light, and you can see something of the effect you can get. It looks rather like this. You can see there's uh, a reflection of him going back and forth and smaller and smaller and smaller. No matter what he does though, he can't get a tunnel going right off into the distance because he's looking over the side. And as he looks over the side of the mirror, of course it bends the tunnel around to one side. So there is another way. You go into the sort of barber shop or restaurant that's got walls of mirrors, one up there and one up there, and you get between them and have a look. And you see something like that. Again, we couldn't get it properly because to do so, the camera has to be in front of the producer and all he can see is producer, not reflection. So it's a very hard phenomenon to show. At least it is to show you on here, although it's a very easy one for you to set up at home. And you do it with little mirrors that you can buy in a chemist. This is the sort to get, a little handbag mirror. I've got one with a design on it, but that doesn't really matter much. But try and get one that hasn't got a backing. It's just got that sort of brown paint that you find on the back of mirrors. Then get something hard and scratch a hole right in the middle. If you do that, you see, you're going to cut away not only that protective paint, but also the silvery layer that does the reflecting. It really will make a hole in the mirror that you can use as a peephole. From the front, you'll see that the hole is, is coming there. You'll be peeping through that from the back. Well, if you can't get that sort of mirror, you can get a plastic backed one. It's a bit harder to work with, but I've done it on that to show you that it can be done. And that's my spy hole. And I'd put my eye to that, look through, and put another mirror in the front. I can't show you what it looks like because the cameras won't work as well as your eye, but it's simple to do and you'll get something of this effect as you move the mirrors around. But yours, of course, since you're looking right through the middle of one of them, will be a tunnel that goes on forever.